We are grateful. The compact is renewed. Do you two see something out of place here? I don't want any trouble. I'm just on my way to the docks. I told you to stay out of our alienage, Shem. You too good to listen to elves? What do you want? Money? Money? You think you can buy us? You think we're so far beneath you we'll just take whatever you give us? I think we better explain. Someone's coming! Thanks for running those thugs off. I thought they were gonna kill me. I was on my way home. Look, I'm leaving and you should do the same. The knife ears are all riled up. Spare silver for a war veteran? Ostagar. Darkspawn took off half my foot. Oh, Andraste, bless you, sir. I won't forget your face. No, I won't. What do you need? I suppose a noble death fighting the blighted wretches is better than basking in this squalor. They'd better be paying well. It's you. Come in. I didn't thank you before, did I? I, I wish I could give you something. Everything I owned was lost to looters after the purge. Not that I had anything valuable to begin with. Being stupid and hot-headed. The old Arl's son ruined my wedding. A few of us went to take back what he stole from us. I got captured. I suppose I got off easy in a way. I lived. Miss Terran Howe's purge and the plague both. Lucky me. I guess the plague's been pretty bad. I've seen a few sick people myself, but by the time I got here, it seemed to be under control. There are mages from Deventer here helping to treat it. But there's something odd going on, though. My cousin Shiani could tell you more. <laughs> you can't miss her. Just look for the angriest woman in the alienage. I don't know. You can only find out for certain if it doesn't work. And no one wants to put it to a serious test. Between the Civil War and Ostagar, the city doesn't have enough soldiers left to seal the alienage. And only elves and refugees have gotten sick. I'm sure that if anyone important gets the plague, the alienage will burn. I guess the plague's been pretty bad. I've seen a few sick people myself, but by the time I got here, it seemed to be under control. There are mages from Deventer here helping to treat it. But there's something odd going on, though. My cousin Shiani could tell you more. You can't miss her. Just look for the angriest woman in the alienage. I guess so. I'd expect Templars here otherwise. I know you've already done a lot for me, but I have to ask. Could you talk to Shiani? Please. I, I don't know what's going on here, but I know she's in over her head. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Make her bless you. Oh, it's good to see you again, friend. You were so generous to me before, and these are... other veterans. I'm an orphan. Oh, and, uh, uh, an orphan. Please, my lord, can you spare some coin? I am insulted. A veteran campaigner am I, and Oli is as bereft of parents as anyone's ever been. My mom is especially dead. <laughs> no need to mention that, Oli. Will you help us? <gasps> oh, my... oh, you're too kind. Just too kind. The Maker preserve you. Long live the good sir! That is the Tree of People, I believe. The Venadol. Nobody is coming here to help us. We have to help ourselves. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my Uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? 
help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? What's wrong, Shen? Did you get bored and decide to come watch the elves die of plague? Wait. Soros told me about you. You're the one who freed him from the dungeons. These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Sirian, and Valendrian? Those mages say they're from a circle, just from another land. I have no idea if they're telling the truth, or if anyone cares. These foreigners have taken dozens of elves into that house over the last few weeks, and none of them have been seen again. One of them was our Haran, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. You can try. Those guards mean business. I ask you to stand back. Some of these people are carrying the plague. The alienage is not safe for visitors. If we did not know how to prevent the plague, we would not be here now. What school of magic does this spell belong to? Our circle knows of none which fully prevents plagues. You will have to excuse us, but we are not authorized to share the secrets of our circle with outsiders. For your own safety, we must ask you to leave now. Hold. This place is full of plague victims. No one enters. To arms! Protect the hospice! More enemies ahead. Thank you, friend. I don't know, and I don't want to find out. We're leaving. Make her keep you. It has begun. What happened? Some of the elves ran out, but I didn't recognize any of them. Where are all the others? Let me see that. What does this even mean? They can't be shipping people, can they? Shipping them where? No. People go in, but they don't come out. They aren't shipping anything out of there that we've seen. They could be moving through the back alleys. There are all sorts of buildings back there. They could be using one as some sort of 
warehouse, staging area. If you find any more information, please let me know. I refuse to accept that they're all simply gone. see nothing. Please, just leave me alone. All right. Uh, I saw them take everyone. Took them right out of their beds. Dragged them down the hallways. Baker, the little one's crying. Every few days, they come back. It's like a parade, a silent one. Men and women and children. You have to go. They'll be back soon. They'll find out I talked and they'll take me too. Please, just go. I told you all I know. Please, go before they see you. All is well? What's this? Another shipment already? We weren't... Wait. You're no Tevinter. Who are you supposed to be? What? No, you're not. There's nobody relieving us until midnight. Quick, get them! Hurry! meaning of this? We were told that there would be no interference from the authorities. Oh? An errant group of do-gooders, then? You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we have been given dispensation to do our business here. 
You Ferelden's talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? Indeed. I'm intrigued enough to wonder what brought you here, if not to exact righteous retribution. You wish to parlay, do you? Hmm. Very well. I will leave it for Caladrius to decide your fate. Come with me, and be respectful if you know what's good for you. I hope there's a good explanation for this, Devira. There is, Enchanter. This intruder fought his way through the courtyard, but claims that he is not here to exact revenge. <laughs> and thus you thought it best to bring the Grey Warden directly to me. Grey Warden? But... I... We are in the company of the royal bastard who would be king as well. Have you no sense, my dear? Listen to that. A slaver calling me a bastard. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, what is done is done. Well met, Grey Warden. I'm Caladrius, and I have heard a great deal about you and your friends. I said respect. This is no minion you speak with. Now, now, is this how we begin? With bluster? I was hoping for civility. Business is business, my dear Warden. Even so, your point is made. You do frighten me, but you also intrigue me. I've heard that you're trying to erode Logan's support. It must be a difficult task, yes, yeah? like washing away a mountain. Perhaps you could use some help. Truth be told, there was always a limit to how long we were going to be able to operate here. We've paid for many of Logain's troops, but once the land's meat is done, we become inconvenient. So, here is my offer. One hundred sovereigns from you for a letter with the seal of the Terran of Guaren upon it, implicating him in all of this. Then, we leave a few days earlier than planned with our profits and remaining slaves unharmed. I feel dirty. We're not considering this, are we? So, do we have a deal? Even you must admit it's much better than resorting to barbarism, yes? Interesting. <laughs> now, that's not much of a deal, is it? Let's do this the hard way, then. Men, shall we? We must not exhaust our supplies. Your reputation is an accurate one. I surrender. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. Allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than happy to do this little service for you. Little service? He is talking of blood magic. Surely you would not consider such a thing. Most wise. Uh, then, um, I don't suppose you would consider just uh, letting me go? Ah. Well, that is a shame, isn't it?
You don't look like a Tevinter. Not that it means much. Are you one of them? What happens to us now? Shiani? Did she send you here? Praise the Maker! We will not trespass long on your good graces. Come, everyone. Let's go home. As you like. I'm sorry if I was rude to you before. Andraste's ass, you'd think I'd learned some social graces. Anyway, what I mean by all this is... Thank you. Ah, it's you. Welcome. Please, come in. Tell me, how is Duncan? He's been a friend of mine for many years, yes. From the look on your face, I take it the news is bad. I am sorry to hear that. I knew that the Warden suffered great losses at Ostagar. But a few escaped. I, I had hoped Duncan might be one of them. He came here, now and then, to look for potential recruits. Perhaps that seems strange to you. But Duncan was a man who knew that talent could emerge in the most unlikely places. We've been through outbreaks of pestilence during the war with Orlais. We'll endure. I doubt very much now that the Tevinter intervention would have helped us anyway. Please, take this. Duncan gave it to me years ago. I suspect you'll put it to better use than I would. Good luck to you, Warden. I shall. Very well. Look who's here. I heard all about what you did to those Tevinters. Nice work. Of course. Just keep it quiet. There he is! Now, no crowding. Let the good sir breathe. There are a lot of unfortunates in the alienage, sir. Many uh, veterans, orphans, the diseased, and sad tales of all sorts. I still don't have my parents. Yes, sir. And poor Oli still doesn't have his parents. Anything you can spare would be appreciated. After the riot, many people were left without a home, sir. Don't have a copper between us. You're like a hero here, good sir. Oli and I hadn't eaten for a week before you showed up. I, uh, found it. You aren't a real beggar. 
All I heard was there was free coin over here. Fine. Every one of us. Except the one you rightly pointed out. All of us are unfortunates. Oh, huzzah! Huzzah for the hero of the Denerim! All of us are eating tonight! Oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you, sir. <laughs>